Dr. N.K. Venkatramana, Founder and Director of Neurosciences, Brains Super Speciality Hospital. Brain is a very uh, interesting organ which is uh, sitting silently inside the head but generating electricity. It is communicating to the body. Every single cell of the body is connected to the brain and through the spinal cord and through the peripheral nerve, it is passing the directions through the electrical signals that starts from the brain all the way goes to the point and also taking the feedback simultaneously to see whether the direction is being implemented properly or not or if there is any requirement to change, modify and improve, it keeps on doing that. So every action requires a lot of thinking. So the amount of electricity that generates in the brain, it is about 10 watts approximately. We can light a 10 watt bulb with the amount of electricity that is generated. The second fascinating thing is the speed at which it acts. Because though there is a cable that connects every single cell to the brain differently and the signal has to start from the brain, go back to the point and from there it has to come back to the brain and this can happen in a span of few milliseconds. Very quickly it can go and it come back. I personally believe this is one way of direct communication through the cable but there is a different mechanism whenever there is an emergency. There is a entirely is a direct communication. I think it will bypass all the systems and directly act without any loss of time. For example, if something is coming which is dangerous. You immediately react. Either you escape or you try to avoid or you try to protect yourself. This involves tremendous amount of movements and thinking, acting, acts simultaneously. That speed it can act. Though we compare brain with uh, computers and today's computers cannot work like the brain because computers always think serially one after the other, one after the other whereas the brain can work parallelly and achieve the target.